hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time seeing my face you are welcome you know you're welcome i hope you love it here i'm blessing dixon and on today's video i'm going to be telling you guys about my visa experience basically i was talking about how i was able to get my visa to study in the united states Let's get to it. So, hmm. first of all, it's really not easy getting a visa date in Nigeria. Like that's a given. But something you might want to do is apply for an emergency date, especially if your school's resumption date is close by. Send them a mail asking for an emergency date. Sometimes people actually get it. So that's for the application process. Apply write your ds160 if you don't know what the ds160 is you really want to take this seriously feel it carefully it asks you a question about when your school will be resuming who will be sponsoring you um if you've been working and other questions like that see your ds160 get your visa date something i did that helped me that you also need to do is write a transcript um questions your visa interviewer might ask you and write your answer down because so many people might not be good you know talking to someone else people stutter so you want to practice and practice practice with your family your friends you could just check online for questions interviewers might ask you write down why you are going to the school why you want to study your course um you know write it properly so it just makes you more confident when you want to talk about it now for my experience if you did not watch my previous video you want to go back and watch it it talks about how to get admission to study in the u.s and how i got a fully funded scholarship to study in the u.s go back and watch that video then come and watch this one okay like i said in the previous video i had a fully funded scholarship first for fall but because I couldn't get a um, visa appointment date for that period, I had to say bye-bye to my scholarship. I lost the first scholarship. I was able to get the second scholarship for winter and then I needed a date. Everything happened so fast. I almost could not get a date and then I got a date when I least expected to get a date. When I got the date, I was like, okay, what do I do? And then I just had to write my transcripts, I practiced, oh god, I really stressed <laughs> my people. So I just had to practice. There was something else that stressed me real bad. If you don't know what an I-20 is, an I-20 is the document your school gives you. It um, entails your school's um, information, how long you'll be studying in the school for, how much you'll be paying for tuition, if you have a scholarship, how much the scholarship is covering. It is very important. The I-20 they gave me before I got my fully funded scholarship was just showing that only half of my tuition was covered. I was like, okay, what do I do? How do I explain to the visa officer that it is not just half of my tuition that is covered. I actually have a fully funded scholarship because your I-20 is more like the receipts. That's what they look at to determine your fate, to be honest. So I was like, how do I explain to this woman? And when I was even trying to practice with my friend on what to say, how to say it, it just sounded like rubbish to me. I'm like, what am I even saying? <laughs> you know when even talking to your loved ones, it sounds like rubbish. How would it sound to someone you don't know? I was like, okay, you know what? We'll just do this anyhow, anyhow. So there was this day before my interview. I just went to get food. And while I was there, I heard this song. I feel like God actually just calms us in different ways. What was the song, Sif? It just kept on playing in my heart. And I kept on singing it. I promise you, this song was on repeat for close to what four days and i remember the day before my interview i was sleeping and then i woke up with that song in my heart and then <laughs> i took my phone it was quite dark i just made a video i was like the day before i got my visa because like the next day was my visa interview in faith and i just did the video so while i went for the visa interview the woman had denied three people before me <laughs> but i just felt like it was going to be a woman right 
so so i went to this woman and then we got talking i noticed the person before me when the person came the first question she asked him was how is the weather over there in Ohio or something like that and he was like i don't know and she just said okay and then she asked him other questions after that she closed her thing and then she kept on typing for a long time and then she passed him the blue paper and she was like sorry you don't qualify blah 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 Mini <laughs> when it got to my turn she asked me the same question she said how is the weather over there i was like because i mean it was winter winter everywhere is cold <laughs> so i said oh it's really cold and uh, i'm prepared blah 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 she was like okay ask me um why i'm going to study in the school i said why why um i chose my course like that we went on and then remember i said my i20 was stressing me then she got the i20 she said okay who is going to cover the deficit the remaining payment i said oh that my assistantship is actually renewable for four semesters and she was like but from what she can see here it's just half I now had to, because I told my graduate coordinator beforehand, so he sent me an email stating that my assistantship is actually renewable for first semester. And then I was like, kindly see the email from my lecturer. And then she collected it and then she was reading it. I was like, um, I also have my offer letter for my graduate assistantship if you'd like to see. And she was like, oh no, that's okay, I trust you. I was like, wow, look at God. And then she went through um, the email and she passed it back to me and then she closed her thing and she was typing I was like, hey, Lord of Jesus. <laughs> and I said, Ma, I'd like to add something else. And then I just had to talk about COVID that happened in case she was wondering why I have like a space between when I graduated and when I went for my service because I went for service I think a year after and that was because COVID happened and my school was shut down we couldn't get our transcripts we couldn't get our certificates and she was, she was like okay we kept on typing i was like god, god. <laughs> and she was, she was like congratulations and she gave me the white paper but i've read so many things online i saw a story about um a girl that got a visa and then she found someone following her i'm nigerian i'm very 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 cautious okay so i did not smile <laughs> when she told me the congratulations i just said oh thank you like straight face and everything then you know the whole thing about people trying to extort you and all when they see that you got it so i kept the straight face and then i walked through the door i was just going to the car park i wasn't smiling then when i got to the car park i saw my brother i was like oh. we hugged that was when i smiled and then i went on the rush from that day to when i had to travel because i got my visa very late <laughs> the rush was crazy i had to start packing told my friends and there's one gist i'm going to give you one extra gist when you want to travel you might and it's true in some cases right you might be told not to bring most of your clothes but sometimes actually bring it if you feel like the clothes might be useful you don't need to pack all your luggage but clothes that you actually like that you feel like you wear bring them because when you get here it's still money that you <laughs> it's still money that you used to buy new clothes okay so yeah that that was my visa experience how i got my visa what i did to get my visa thank you so much for watching today's video turn on your notification it's just beside your subscribe button so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Like my video, give me a thumbs up, share to your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.